Hello friends, and welcome to Figure Study, where we appreciate the form in Transformers. And today we're taking a look at Titan's Return Repugnus. Not this one, obviously. I don't know why I'm even bothering to do something silly like this in the first place, because it's obvious from the very beginning of the video that this is not the one we're taking a look at, but uh, I'm not backing out now. Anyway, it's not this Repugnus that we're looking at, but rather this Repugnus. Though, I do have the other one, so I figured I may as well just toss them in there real quick. Mostly for stuff that we're going to get into in robot mode. But yeah, just in case anyone was wondering, though there are other videos out there that do this, here you've got the original Titan's Return Repugnus with the more legitimate Titan's Return Repugnus that is an actual figure with a robot mode. Anyway, here at long last, we have Repugnus, and I really like this guy. I've said at least twice now, probably more than that, that uh, Twinferno or Double Cross doesn't really make a difference to me which one you go with, but that mold was pretty much my favorite of Titan's Return, and so getting a Grotusque, still thought it was great, and now Repugnus, still think it's great. Granted, with Repugnus, the only thing that really kind of works with the other monster bots that's like the same molding wise is the lower half of the body where you've got the same kind of monster legs become the robot mode feet and the way the legs fold out although repugnus does not have a uh, tail sticking out so there is that instead he just has a bug butt but yeah repugnus very cool there are certain things that kind of disappoint me with this, which we'll get into in a minute, but uh, overall, I'm glad to have a uh, new official Repugnus, and he has the very obvious, can't mistake it for anyone else, giant ant, bear, beetle head thing with the mandibles and the giant green eyes. I'm kind of tempted to go in and like paint some silver or something, or maybe just white on the insides of the eyes there to potentially brighten up a little bit, I think, because right now they're translucent and all that's looking into is just a void of a head. Anyway, very nicely detailed head. Nicely painted. I mean, the entire thing is has been painted brown. <laughs> and then got these little lights on top. And he has his little, little opening and closing mouth. I'm also tempted to go in and paint the teeth. He's got kind of an awkward frame, but then that's kind of how these always are. Though I will say Repugnus' frame is probably the most awkward of all the monster bots, just because he's got like obvious robot mode arms curled around to his back. Kind of wish those tucked away a little better, but it's okay. And color-wise, he is extremely garish. I mean, he's bright red, white, bright yellow, and then this like dark brownish burgundy color for like the legs and the head and the waist section there, with like little bits of gray for the toes, the claws, and the mandibles. And then those weird hints of green it's a color combination that I don't think necessarily works, but at the same time, it works. I don't know. I feel like if these colors were on anything that wasn't a giant beetle monster, it would probably look kind of stupid. But here, no, I think it works. As for the other detailing, there's not really a whole lot. I mean, he's got some stickers on his thighs for some reason, and that's pretty much it. The only other detail is like in the chest here where you actually have a little... Like, this is interesting. They actually painted part of the door for the uh, Titan Master chamber, whatever you want to call it. So you've got, like, this viewing port for the Titan Master to look out of. And pull you out. Deal with you in a second. And you can see it is molded in there. Okay, so there we've got the Pugnus bug form. And then on the back, he's got these little bug wings, which... Uh, I think this works for weapon storage. I just kind of wish that they were like a little bit closer together, maybe. I don't know. My main issue with these I'll get into in robot mode, but uh, I think as far as weapon storage goes, I like this because it actually does look like part of the alt mode. I always prefer it when uh, figures do that. Now, for the Titan Master, I forget this guy's name and I might add it down here. I might not. It doesn't really matter. But he's another one of those weird battle beasts looking guys. He's kind of a, I guess, lionish face, though it doesn't have the eye patch like Twinfernos does. And not really a fan of the color scheme on this guy. 
It's that brownish burgundy plastic with like yellow and then this really kind of ugly dark gray, which is not the same shade of gray that's on the bug mode. So like this gray doesn't appear anywhere else. And this shade of gray just does not complement any of the colors here at all. The molding is nice, as these things tend to do, but you know, no one's really excited about this version or this mode for the figure, so we'll just fold him up and deal with him when we get to robot mode. But yeah, Repugnus is cool. I think he's ridiculous and unsightly, and he's like this weird, gross bug monster thing, but he actually does work pretty darn well for what he is. Kind of wishing that he came out in the main line as opposed to a special Amazon only thing for a while, but uh, it is what it is, I guess. Anyway, I'm just gonna bring in the official Titans Return Repugnus again, real quick, so you can see that this one hits a lot of the same notes in terms of the uh, bugness. Funny enough, I actually kind of prefer the uh, slightly more angular bug head that they got going on here. Kind of wish that they had done something like this with that. And also I like the bright green painted eyes as opposed to the translucent green eyes. The rest of this though, yeah, <laughs> it's, you know, for what it is, it's fine. But there's only one reason why I got this and that is because of the Titan Master, which we pop him open, take you out, there we go. And this can just, there we go. And so here is the Titan Master that whoop, Tiny Repugnus comes with and this is a very kind of eh, Titan Master mode. Like they did a little bit of yellow on the face and that's it. And the molding again, not bad, but just kind of meh. But we'll take a look at the proper robot mode head again when we get to robot mode. But before we do that, let's do some more size comparisons. Starting with a current deluxe. So you can kind of see that, uh, you know, obviously the monster mode is shorter than a deluxe, but still, I think has the appropriate mass. And then because how could I not? Here we've got all the monster bots together and it's funny, I have no connection whatsoever to the original monster bots. Like I knew they existed, but I never owned any of them growing up, but I really like seeing this team together. Granted, this is the uh, Takar Legends double cross. So this is, uh, <laughs> we've got the two US releases on the sides and then the Japanese release in the middle, so the coloring's a little different there, but they do look really good together. But it's also kind of funny how Repugnus is so much brighter than the other two, especially with that yellow. I mean, Double Cross's dragon heads are a similar shade of white, whereas on uh, Grotusque, it's more of like a very light gray rather than a bright white. But that yellow, woof, it stands out. Not necessarily in a bad way, it's just color-wise, I don't know that they necessarily work together, but I think that could also be kind of the point. Though looking at them like this, it almost makes me wish that the uh, sort of plum purpley color on Grotusque was a little bit brighter. Not much I can do about that, short of going in and repainting everything, and I'm not doing that, so yeah, I'll make do. Okay, so with all of those size comparisons and just regular old comparisons out of the way, let's move on to Repugnus's robot mode. Okay, so here we've got Repugnus almost entirely in his robot mode, but as you can tell, he is missing his head. That's because I did a little something. Here you can see this is the Titan Master that he comes with. This is the Titan Master that you get with the tiny Repugnus. Now, the face that this guy normally comes with is this. It's kind of very, very yellow with tiny green eyes and nothing really stands out. And when you put them on there, it's just kind of like way too much yellow. Nothing about the face really stands out and it's kind of lackluster. Conversely, the face that comes with the tiny Repugnus has these much bigger green eyes and that works so much better. 
I think part of it too is that the yellow on this guy is painted, whereas this is just plastic, so the details in the face actually stand out better on this one than on this one, plus you've got the much bigger, slightly darker green eyes. But the main thing I wanted to go into is the fact that this face actually comes on this Titan Master, and this face comes on this Titan Master. But while I liked this face better, I didn't care for the red that you could see on the sides there. Because, I mean, even with this guy, when you put him on there, you can, you know, you can kind of see that, like, he's got that red, and that's just kind of distracting to me. I prefer the more solid yellow look. But again, the faces weren't to my liking. So what I ended up doing was very simple. This is something that anyone who has these and is in a similar situation could do. Just unscrew that screw and the face pops right off. And then you just attach the other face to the other Titan Master, screw it back on. And now I've got this, which just stays tucked in Tiny Repugnus. So throw that off to the side. And now I've got my preferred Repugnus face with the uh, all yellow from the other Titan Master. And I think this works so much better. So, so much better. So that is why that's the way that is. But it is something to keep in mind if you do end up getting uh, Repugnus for yourself. This head is not going to come with it. It is actually going to be the other one with the tiny beady eyes. Though it will be all yellow. Anyway, Repugnus's robot mode. It's surprisingly normal for a robot that comes from a giant bugman. I do like it though. I mean, I think this looks pretty darn good. I like the mix up of color here. And this definitely breaks it up better than the bug mode does, where you've got some of that uh, really dark, almost burgundy red, and then regular red, and then dark again, and then red, and then yellow, and then white, and then dark, and then yellow with red everywhere. And yeah, it just breaks it up a lot, a lot better. The proportions are nice. He's got a very large chest. It works. Plus, because he's got the bug hands for pecs, I think that also works. It looks like he's got enormous robo pecs. Now, one thing I forgot to mention in bug mode, which I will mention right now, it's that bug arms get a decent amount of articulation. And the in and out can spin, can bend here because of the ball joint. The thing that bothers me is this hinge here does not go out, and it bugs me a lot, no pun intended, that you can't bend the bug arms out at all. It just seems unnecessarily restrictive, especially considering the way that this arm is done. It does not look like it needed to be designed like that. Like, I don't understand why they couldn't have put a bevel on this side as well and trim down this so that the arms could swing out. It doesn't seem like a necessary structural restriction. It just seems like a design flaw. What I've been trying to do is going in with a file and like shaving this down, but that's taking too long, so I'm gonna need to probably do a little bit more. Maybe take a Dremel to it, I don't know. But yeah, I really want these to be able to swing out because it restricts the bug mode unnecessarily. But anyway, in C, nice little mold of details. Uh, not a lot that's different here, though weirdly, it looks like the thighs were molded in yellow plastic and then painted white. I don't know why they didn't just mold that in white, but okay. And then you've got the chest, which is where most of the differences are, and then like the arms. I mean, they're nondescript robot -y arms, but they work. And then the bug head tucks away neatly on his back. This is another thing that's weird to me. Got a peg here and a slot here, but there's no discernible reason for either that I've been able to find. Like, the arms peg in, in uh, bug mode, the arms peg in here. So I don't really understand why those are there. There's no reason for that to be there. I don't get it. But, as I said, cool robot mode. actually kind of like the uh, mandibles sticking up on the back there. Another thing that I think is kind of fun, if you really wanted to give him some kind of weird, like, bladed, spiky barbarian mode, you can actually flip up the, uh, <laughs> the claws for the bug mode and give him some added spikes. 
I don't know. I just think it's an interesting option for uh, if you wanted to do some fan moding or something. Now, for the bug wings. These can be used as swords. They can also be pegged into the shoulders. There's actually uh, slots right back here that these peg into. And this is more for the bug mode, but you could put them up there in robot mode if you really wanted to. And he can hold them as swords, which also looks fine, but they did that thing that I hate, where they're designed to peg together and make like a little sled for the Titan Master, and that's just silly and dumb and adds some unnecessary bulk to the swords. And that's why I don't really like using them as swords, because you've got all this crap hanging off the side. But, to their credit, they did design it so that uh, there's like a little gap here, and there are these pegs on the sides of the arms, so that if you line everything up, peg all that together, you can peg that over his forearm and give him like a arm blade thing. And this is mine and probably a lot of other people's preferred method of uh, attaching the weapons in robot mode because that I think works better than swords with like giant chunks sticking off of them and doesn't really store all that great. So that works much, much better. Another thing that I think is pretty interesting about Repugnus is the fact that I don't feel as compelled to go in there with like stickers and paint and whatnot and tweak a bunch of things. I mean, yeah, I kind of was talking about doing some stuff to the giant bug head, but overall, I don't really think the body needs any real paint work. I could if I really wanted to do some like panel lining and detailing, whatever, but like the way the color is broken up actually works really well and they did a little bit of paint here and there that helps to differentiate everything. I would probably have been tempted to do something to the default head because it's just got those tiny eyes and nondescript details that you can't really see, but swapping things out I think alleviated that problem. And yeah, I don't really feel all that compelled to make any big changes to this. I feel like it'll be inevitable for Toy Hacks to put out some repro labels. But unless they do some kind of really interesting, drastic changes, I don't really see myself needing to go for them. Repugnus pulls off everything surprisingly well, with a few nitpicks here and there, as I've already gone over. But anyway, move him off to the side so we can do our size comparisons. There he is with a typical deluxe, and he's a tiny bit shorter, but I blame more just the mold than anything because Twinferno is also surprisingly short for a deluxe. And here we have our monster bot team in robot mode, and I really like this too. I mean, I'm still of the opinion that I prefer to keep Double Cross or Twinferno in the double-headed dragon mode over the robot mode, but they still look great together. As I said, I don't really have a particular attachment to the monster bots, but I'm still very, very happy to have the entire team. This is something fun about this really weird collection of Autobots. Though it is interesting also, looking at them all together in their robot modes, I'm not sure how well it comes across on camera, but I hadn't really realized that Repugnus is a tiny bit shorter than Double Cross, and Double Cross is a tiny bit shorter than Grotusk. I don't know. It's interesting. But anyway, as I've been saying over and over again, these three look really awesome together. I like having them. But I do believe that is going to do it for Titan's Return Repugnus. Again, really cool figure, and I think I'd still like him even if he had the default Titan Master that you know comes with him, but personally, I am much more into this, and I definitely am much more into this particular configuration, which required a little bit of work on my part, both in getting the smaller Titan's Return Repugnus and swapping the faces of the Titan Masters, but I think it was worth it. It wasn't that much work, and I think it paid off pretty darn well in the end. But that is enough about what I think. What do you all think? Have any of you managed to get your hands on Repugnus? This Repugnus? Do you have a preference one way or the other over the heads? I know the consensus seems to be that most people prefer this face, and I'm totally on board with that. But I'm also curious what everyone else thinks in terms of the uh, red versus the yellow for the entire head. Because, like I said, for me, I thought having like the red back here was a bit eh. 
so I was glad to be able to change to all yellow. And if anyone else is bummed out about those bug arms not being able to move outward, have you found any good ways of dealing with it other than just filing down those edges? Because I mean, I could keep doing that, it's just going to take a really long time. But whatever your thoughts, feel free to chime in down below, I always enjoy hearing from you all. And while you're at it, also feel free to like or subscribe, any of those would make me a happy Rob. And remember, art is more than meets the eye, even if you have to work for it a little bit. <laughs>